Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emma. In one of my most recent videos, I shared with you guys my thoughts and opinions about the new Disney Princess dolls. And in that video, I briefly mentioned that I've been looking for a Truly Me number 83 in good condition and for a good price. With that being said, I so kindly had someone message me over on Instagram, someone who is a supporter of my channel, somebody very sweet. I will not be sharing her name just because I'm not sure if she wants her name out there. She basically told me that she's had number 83 sitting in her closet. She was going to donate the doll anyways and that she would love to gift me this doll so that she knows that she's going to a loving home. And I basically just told her, are you sure? Are you sure? You know, because like I mentioned in that video, this doll right now can go for a pretty penny and especially in good condition. So I wanted to make sure it was okay with her first and she was so kind about it and was like, of course, I know you want her and might as well gift her to you if I'm not getting any use of her. She's just collecting dust in the closet basically. And I also just quickly wanted to say that I hope that this video does not come off as me bragging in any way, shape or form because I was definitely spoiled this past week. Um, my most recent video was of me unboxing a doll that was so kindly sent to me by Robbie and Victor. And now I'm doing an unboxing video on this doll. So I just really wanted to say that I'm very appreciative and grateful and that no one ever has to send me anything. And the fact that I've had some really lovely people want to send me these dolls personally, it means so much. I am forever grateful and I just wanted to put that out there just in case um, it seems like I'm bragging because I'm definitely not. I'm very appreciative and I just want to share with you all my new dolls. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open her up so we can see what she looks like and see how much TLC she will be needing today if needed. So I think I'm going to unbox her in an angle that you guys can't see just because my address is kind of written all over the top of the box as well as like postage and all that and of course I don't accidentally want my address to leak so I'm going to open this and then I'm going to show you guys the inside of the box just to be on the safe side. Okay so I took off all the tape. This is what I'm looking at right now. So let's take out all of the newspaper. She's in her box. Did you tell me she was coming in her box? I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't know if you told me this. I'm so sorry if you didn't. I just completely forgot. Bleh, forgot. But she is in her freaking box. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Alright, let's take her out. Oh my goodness, thank you for packaging her so nicely. Here she is, you guys. This is Truly Me number 83. So, yeah, in my last video, I mentioned that Truly Me number 125 reminded me a lot of number 83, but she looks like the older version of 83. 83 has a very sweet face. You know, she doesn't have, like, the crazy eyebrows and the crazy lashes. Um, not that I'm not a fan of that. It's just, you know, sometimes I miss not having all the lashes and all that good stuff so oh my goodness wow i cannot believe she's in my hands right now her hair still looks freaking beautiful she comes in her box she has her book and everything she even left her in one of the newer truly me outfits holy cow she strapped her in and everything let's take her out of the box all right, you guys, I just took her out of the box. Here's what she's looking like. Look at this wig. Look at this beautiful freaking wig. This is going to need very minimal TLC. Just needs a little bit of freshening up with the curls. And she's beautiful. The only other doll that I have with hair like this is number 67. I do have truly me number 44, but her wig is shorter. As far as like length, the only other doll I could think of is number 67. And this is a very beautiful 83. I especially love this doll because of her beautiful green eyes. Or I guess these are the hazel eyes. Um, but she's the lightest skin tone. She is freaking adorable. She has underwear on. Just had to check. She does not have shoes, which is perfectly fine. Because I'm going to be redressing her with you guys anyways. I'm so happy though. Her wig literally needs very minimal fixing. This was such... I can't believe that you sent this to me. Thank you so, so much. I truly love this doll. She is freaking beautiful. Like, she is basically pristine condition. You were not lying. She's in very good condition. Like I said, I didn't get any pictures. I didn't ask for any pictures or nothing like that. You know, I was just like, let me know. Um, you know, send me the tracking so I can make sure that someone's home when she gets delivered. 
thank god I was, and now she's here so quickly. I think she shipped her out Wednesday. Today is Saturday, late afternoon, like around 1, and she's here already. So she got here super duper fast. Like I barely had to wait. And that is just freaking crazy how fast she got here. I can't get over how pretty she is though. She's definitely super duper pretty with this wig. Wow. Oh my goodness. Girlie, thank you so much for this doll. You did not have to do that. I know I've already told you that, but you really didn't. But you did. So thank you because I love her. And now time to pick out a pink girly outfit for her. Okay, I just put her in a very cute outfit. I think it's adorable. Let me know what you guys think. But honestly, I love it. I think it's very cute and girly. And I like the like touch of blue that I added in there, especially with Corinne's boots. I love Corinne's boots. A little bit of an unpopular opinion. They go with so many outfits that I like to put on my dolls. And I thought that with this outfit here, it went perfectly. And I did put her in a super cute necklace that I made. And I felt that that was a really nice touch alongside with the rest of the blue. And with like the white... These are actually leggings, not tights. I'm like, why are they so white? I could not find another pair of white tights for my dolls. Like most of my dolls are already wearing them because I love having them in tights underneath like their dresses. So I just put her wearing these leggings. But I think this outfit is super duper cute on her. And surprisingly, I do already have a name for her, which is very shocking because you guys know I'm like always very late to naming my dolls. But I think that the name Charlotte is really cute for her. Like I feel like that suits her and how sweet her face looks. Like she just looks like a Charlotte. Do you guys think that that name goes with her? I think she looks like Charlotte. So I'm gonna leave that as her name because I honestly love it. I'm about to go take some pictures of her. If you guys wanna check out the pictures, you guys can see them on my Instagram over at $80forever underscore. I will be posting them on there and probably sharing some at the end of this video as well. And if I do end up like refreshing her curls, even though her curls are literally freaking perfect, I will also include that in the video. There's just like some flyaways, but it's very minimal. Um, like I already said, like, she is a brand freaking new doll. Like, she was very well taken care of. This was from another adult collector, but I'm just so surprised, like, how good condition she's in, considering I didn't pay for her. So, thank you so much, again, because I truly do love this doll. She's very, very beautiful. I'm very excited. She's going to fit in very nicely with my collection. I love that she has, I believe this is the palest skin tone, because I think I only have, like, two dolls with this skin tone, so... I really love her and again her wig is so unique like this combination I feel like it's just unique like this type of hair um, with this skin tone and then her eyes are very common now in the truly me line or I feel like they've always been but it looks really good on her so I'm super happy with her and how she came out sorry if the lighting is kind of weird I kind of took a minute to dress her I feel like I always take forever when it comes to dressing my dolls but yeah so here she is like i said i'll be including more pictures and close-ups of her so you guys can see her better but i love her so much i am very extremely grateful for this extremely kind gift once again thank you so much for sending her to me she's definitely in a very loving home and you definitely made me extremely happy today and i can't believe how quickly she arrived and just thank you thank you because i love her she's so pretty and i'm already so obsessed with her she's just got an adorable face and it's like how can you not fall in love with her so yeah, that's going to be it for the end of today's video. Thank you so much. I truly love and support all of you. I cannot thank each and every single one of you enough for how much you all do for me and my channel and always supporting me. Those of you who like, comment, share, those of you who have subscribed, even if you're just watching this video because you're bored and I came across your For You page, thank you for watching. It truly does mean a lot because I'm happy that you're here. So I will catch you guys in my next video very soon. Make sure to stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that like button and put on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. See you all next time. Bye!